Hello, in this video, I want to show you how we can add BibTick to the IEEE official conference template in Overleaf. The BibTick is a very useful referencing tool when we write papers. However, it does not come with the official IEEE template. So that's what I want to show you in this video, how we can change in the template to support BibTick. First, let us create a new project using the IEEE template. We can click New Project, click View All to find the IEEE project we want. We can do a quick search here for IEEE. Then we are seeing a lot of IEEE template, and you can tell whether this is the official template by looking at this official label here. Um, you can also search and try other templates based on your needs, or if you cannot find your template here, you can uh, normally find your template on the published official website. You can download it as a zip file and upload here uh, to the Overleaf as a project. Today I want to show you how we can uh, add in the BibTick to the IEEE conference template. So I click here and click open as template. Now I want to uh, quickly go through the template here. So basically you can see in this IEEE template, you have pretty much all the basic elements you need for a research paper, such as how you do a title, how you do authors, and how you do uh, common sections in a research paper, such as abstract introduction. You also have these uh, fundamental elements, such as how to do bullet point, how to do uh, equations, and uh, how to do um, this board text, uh, and how to do table and figures. Uh, let me just quickly show you the latest code for that. Um, yeah, so this is the code for adding table and uh, figures uh, here in LaTeX. Um, you can pretty much write your research paper by changing the text of this template. I also want to show you what is contained in these uh, template files. First, you have this .txt.txt file, which is the main LaTeX file. And when we compile this LaTeX file, we got a PDF file which has the same name here. Uh, you can include in your figures uh, into the project. This .cls file is what we call a class file that contains the style and the structure of the paper. So basically, this IEEE style paper is controlled by this .class file. And this how-to PDF file uh, gives you more detail how you can uh, change in the uh, IEEE style file uh, for your own needs, such as changing the, the font size of the, 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 the paper. But the main point I want to talk about today is the reference part uh, of this template. So as you can see, this is the um, default way of uh, doing a reference in the IEEE template. I mean, it, it is okay, but I wouldn't say uh, it is convenient because you wouldn't normally get this um, reference information automatically from uh, Google Scholar or other reference managers such as Mendeley um, or I, I, any other publisher online libraries such as Atribly Explore. Um, so what I want to change here is I want to uh, basically delete this part and adding the bibliotheque um, code here, the only two lines we needed. Uh, so first line is tell the uh, LaTeX we want this IEEE style. The second line is actually the name of our uh, bibliotheque file, which we needed to add here. We can click here, new file. Then we click, uh, when we click a new file called the references. The name needed to match here. I mean, you can, you can name it whatever you want, but you need to match. Um, the Beep. Yeah. So now we have this 
bibliotheque added to the uh, actual bay template. So let us do a few examples here. Uh, because if, if we recompile here, we can see because we deleted the, the previous reference, so this section is gone. Uh, let us go to, for example, um, let us go to the the place above the acknowledge session. Um, let us add in few papers, for example, um, if I want to add in this paper uh, from 2020 date conference, um, so what I can do here, let me just first copy the name of this paper here. Uh, so what I can do here is we have two ways to do that. First of all, you can go to Google Scholar, search this paper, right, right then you click Cite bibliotheque, then you will be able to get the bibliotheque information uh, here. Or if you have a Google Chrome add-on for the Google Scholar, you can click here, uh, Google Scholar, cite the bibliotheque, which will direct you to the same place. Uh, so what we can do here is we copy this bibliotheque information, then we paste it into our .bib file. Um, now, it contains a couple of information, the title, the author, the, uh, the, the, the place of conference, page, year, and the uh, publisher. And this part is a key. We can copy this key to the main text file. Then we in here we do cite and copy the key here. Um, so this is how we do a reference. Uh, for bibliotheque. Let us recompile the document. And you can see we're successfully adding this uh, text with a correct uh, bibliotheque reference here. Um, a few more things I want to mention is that um, although bibliotheque is convenient, but it is not always right. You have to double check the information that come with, for example, Google Scholar. Uh, let me give you two examples here. Let me try to cite another paper. So this is another paper I tried to cite. And you can see this paper is was published at the CVPR conference workshop. But if I click Google Scholar, then I do the bibliotheque citation. You can see that this paper was published at the CVPR, which is the main conference, which means the bibliotheque information is incorrect. So this is what I mean. We need to uh, be careful of the information in bibliotheque. It is not always correct. So let us do a uh, citation here. Oh, sorry, not this one. Where is it? Ah, this one. Okay. We do we copy it to the bit.b file. Then we go back. Site. Go back. Copy the key. And site. Recompile. And you can see we added the another reference here and the uh, reference section is already generated but you can see the information is incorrect right so what we can do here we need to correct it manually um, i already made a correct uh, reference here so i just uh, replace the incorrect one Then we go back and do the recompile. So you can see I have updated this uh, conference to be CVPR workshop. Well, actually, I also made a mistake here. It should be workshops. So I need to go back, uh, changing the conference title. 
and then go back recompile now you can see it is CVPR workshops right but this is a small mistake but for some conference we may have an even bigger problem All right let me set one more paper for you for example this is a uh, conference paper once for all you can see that in this archive page it says it is accepted at iClear 2020 and if we open the PDF you can also see at the top of this paper uh, wait one second it also says the paper is published as a conference paper at ICLEA 2020 right so let me first copy the title to uh, to the latex and if we try to cite this paper right, what we can get you can see what we get is the citation for this archive page rather than the conference uh, correct the conference information so this is an issue right? we needed to to make the correction uh, there are a couple of things wrong here actually so uh, if I copy this bibliotech to this .bib file so first what is wrong is that um, it does not show this is a conference paper it shows uh, this is a journal paper uh, it is uh, it is article so we needed to make a correction on that now also you can see they show the uh, reference to uh, 2019 but this paper was published at Aclea 2020 so basically uh, a lot of a lot of information are incorrect here we need to make the correction so I already made a correct one here let's just copy and do a comparison uh, so first I changed at article to at in proceedings and also changing the journal to uh, to book title and make the conference uh, title here and I uh, oh sorry and also the year should be 2020 and I can delete the incorrect uh, bibliotech information and copy the key to the .txt file make a citation I know this might be a headache at the beginning but uh, you can keep a record of all the paper or the citation you have um, so that you can reuse that uh, dot bib, bibliotech file uh, for all your publications One thing good about uh, Bibliotech is that it contains uh, basically the meta information. Let's say the title, the author, the conference, they are all meta information about your reference. Uh, if, if you want to uh, publish paper for different publisher, they may have different uh, reference style. You, you just need to configure the uh, reference style here then everything will be changed automatically so that's why it's so easy right. uh, uh, a few more things I, I want to um, I want to show you so if we say enlarge the PDF a little bit right, if we read about um, this reference you can see that so although in bibliotech we using capital capital letter for every word but the outcome of this reference is that the the only the first letter is capitalized the other letters are uh, small letters well this might look ugly especially for a word like dn and my image usually this should be uh, capital letters so what we can do here to make the the um, the title look nicer, we can using this bra uh, bracket uh, so that we can force it to be what we put here uh, as uh, as the uh, title. You can see now we correct the uh, uh, DN to all capital letters. 
or we can say putting this bracket for the whole title so that every first uh, every letter of first word is capitalized so in this way we can make the citation uh, nicer Yeah, I think that's pretty much all for this video. Um, uh, hope it's helpful. Thank you for watching.